it's not impossible. It's not. If you are in a math class, whether it be algebra, trig, pre-calc, calculus, maybe it's a physics class, maybe it's chemistry, it doesn't matter what class it is. If you are in a classroom in a college and you are taking a class, you can do it. It is not impossible. And I'm saying that because I've seen it. I've seen people who are not doing well and I've seen them come back. I've had students who, you know, they'll take the first test and say a statistics class, which my stats class, you know, when I've taught stats, it's, it's not the hardest class. It's pretty, pretty simple, not too bad. So let's use stats as an example because out of all the classes I've taught, stats is probably the easiest one. So I've had students in statistics who have bombed the first test. I remember one semester there was this girl, she, she got like a 40 on the first test. And everyone else in the class did okay. I think there was a couple C's, but she definitely had the worst grade. So she came to my office, you know, after the first test. and. She's like, I didn't do so well. I thought I had it all figured out. And she had done all the homework, but she had spent a long time on the homework. So a normal student, like most students in the class, would spend 10 to 15 minutes, say, on a homework section. She would spend an hour and a half on that same section. So clearly, clearly she was struggling, not only on the test, but in the homework. So clearly this, this person, this student, she was not very good at math and obviously she had some problems and she was trying. Second test came around which was a harder test and I told her, I was like bad news is the second test is way harder because it's on probability and the first test was the easiest test and she did terrible. So on the second test I think she got like a 60 something so she did better. Oops I missed my turn I'm gonna have to turn around there. But she still, she still failed. So she came to my office again and I helped her, you know, with the questions she got wrong on the test and gave her some, you know, tips and stuff like that. And the third test came around and she passed. So you got to see. Fourth test came around, she got an A. Final exam came around. And the final exam for this class was a departmental final, meaning that I didn't make it. Basically, the entire math department, you know, gets together. There's a committee. I was on the committee. And, you know, you pick the questions that are, you know, best suited for the final based on a bunch of, a bunch of things, like what's taught in the class, what do the students need to know, et cetera. And checking my directions here. She studied and she got an, she got an A on it. And very few people in my classes would get A's on that test. Maybe a handful, most would get B's and C's. It was a very hard test for the students. And she passed. I think she ended up with a B because I used the final exam to replace her first test, which was, which was her lowest grade. And honestly, she was, I mean, she could have gotten an A, but she didn't. She got a B and life goes on. The point is, you have a student like that who is taking, out of all the classes I've taught, that's probably the easiest one, and she did terrible on the first test, which is the easiest test. It would take her five, six times longer to do the homework than it would other students in the class. Yet, she's able to do it. So I always think of students like this, students who genuinely have, I mean, she must have had something, there was an issue there, right? I don't know if she had a learning disability or, or what, but there was an issue that really she was really struggling. Maybe she just had a lot of stuff going on in her life. So if you're in a class, you know, think about people like this, people who genuinely struggle. They, they're just not very good at it. And she's able to claw her way back from getting the worst grade in the class to doing awesome. So it's not impossible. It just takes a lot of work. And, and there's, no, there's no secret. I mean, you do the homework, you go over your notes, 
you go over any type of review and, and well maybe there is a secret the secret is to really make sure you can do everything right everything from the homework everything from the notes everything from the review if you have one everything from the book everything that's possibly related to your test you want to make sure that you can do it cold if you can do that like without using your resources then you're going to do well then you can do well on the test you know and I, I've got countless stories like this I had a student who would, would come to my office every day when I had office hours, she would come. And when she wasn't there, she was in the tutoring center. You might say, didn't she work? No, she was older, so she had the time. So you might, you might say, well, I don't have that much time. But yeah, but she decided to use her time to study, which I think is admirable. And she had me for a couple classes, college algebra and stats, and did well in both. And studied like crazy. I mean, just just crazy. I don't think I've ever had a student work as hard as this woman. And to me, that's admirable. And I always think if she could do it, anyone can, you know? And when you, when you teach for many years and you see these students come and go over the years, you know, they come and go and you teach the same class semester after semester, you see new faces every semester, you see the talent and the potential that lives inside people. People are incredibly talented and I don't think people realize that. I don't think people realize how much potential is in them. You know, when when I walk into a classroom and I see the students there, maybe 30, 40 students, whatever, I see potential because human beings have potential. There's the potential for good and, and the potential for bad, obviously, too, but you know, in a math setting, you're looking for math potential. You're looking for success. Can these people do well? Can they, can they rise above? Can they change their lives? Can they get a degree? So it's not impossible. That's the point of this video. You know, if you're watching it and you're feeling down, just know that there's a lot of potential out there. And you have potential in you. And you can do it. It's not impossible. It's not. That's all I wanted to say found any value in this content feel free to subscribe if you want to learn math i do have courses they're on my website mathsorcerer.com or freemathbits.com they're actually on udemy but use the links from my website because you'll get a low price and uh, it helps me greatly so yeah and the key takeaway from this video should be that it's not impossible right i have seen people come back from disasters. I mean, in many, in many situations, I, I didn't think it was possible. I, I, just, I was like, there's no way this person's going to pass. I can't believe they're still trying. And they pass. They prove me wrong all the time. All the time. Keep doing mathematics.